TFNN. Headline News Update. At 2 o'clock, we've got uh, the market, well, at least the S&P off about half of a percent, uh, the NASDAQ off about three quarters, the Dow about three tenths, uh, Russell's actually flat on the day, uh, crude down about 1.45 percent, and gold down about a third of a percent. Of course, this is on the heels of uh, the rail strike uh, being settled at least uh, legislatively today. And then, of course, uh, the big number this morning was non-farm payrolls, which increased by 263,000 for the month. Why the employment rate was uh, 3.7, the payroll numbers were well above the 200,000 estimate, why the unemployment rate was just in line. And, of course, this puts uh, a little heat on those people that I think uh, are uh, way too optimistic about next year. Um, when we look at a great deal of earnings, um, they're up a little or down a whole lot. Um, Z Scaler uh, down a little less than 12% today, and Cracker Barrel uh, down a little more than 12% today. Uh, the other ones are kind of in there, but even some of the semis like uh, Marvel down 4% on the day. Uh, Ulta, which we'd been talking about on the show, uh, actually flat. I didn't really see much reason to get uh, bearish on it, although I know a lot of people have been talking that way around the Tiger's Den. Uh, but that's kind of it. Now the question is, we've got two days after a big move, and generally you want to give uh, maybe three days of having uh, at least some kind of continuation uh, and not just seeing uh, that uh, Wednesday was a buying climax, only to see a pullback. Uh, it's very hard to see with uh, the S&P somewhere around 18 or 19 uh, uh, PE going into next year. Something's got to give, and uh, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's the PE. I think it's the price. We'll be back with the show in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest 